Welcome to the Wayward Widow. I've disappeared, didn't I? Um, I didn't have any storage in my phone, so I just turned my iCloud off. So I'm hoping by turning my iCloud off because twice now I've paid for iCloud storage. I paid 99 cents a month for like the last year. Then it went up to 2.99 for more storage. And I don't, like anything that would be really important, I'm flipping over to the iPad. And um, I have an iPhone 11 and it only does so much now. You know what I mean? Anyway, I have a giant heart on. Where do I show you the giant heart? This is the first time I've worn this. I bought it last year. Think of my giant heart. I think it was last year. What do you think? That is a giant heart. Put a nose ring in today. Why not? A little flower. And I used that but, uh, Batana shampoo and conditioner and I used the mask. Is it mask? That you, you put it in your hair once your hair is dry and it's supposed to make it fuller and it's real uh, thin and um, kind of messy, but it, it blends in pretty well. I don't know. We'll see over time. So that's why I haven't been around. Let me, let me know if, for whoever has um, listened to my podcast, let me know whether you like podcasts better or YouTube better. I got one feedback from someone who said they prefer... The, U- the YouTube videos as opposed to a podcast. Some people just love podcasts. Um, and so I'd like to know which you guys like more, even though I like doing a podcast as much as I like doing these. So it doesn't matter to me. I got the card. I can shake off everything as I write. My sorrows disappear. My courage is reborn. That was said by Ann- Anne Frank. So the action is turn to your journal in the moment of need. Writing down your thoughts and feelings will help you work through them in your own space. Um, You guys didn't get to hear the card for the last two days, but that's okay. I have gone out every day this week. I'm I'm not kidding you. I've been out every day this week. Monday, I went to the grocery store. That was 20 minutes. 20 minutes, half hour. Tuesday, I had the doctor in office. Wednesday, I went to, I went and got spring water. I went to the bank. I put gas in the car and I went to the post office and dropped letters into the box. And then I went and had coffee with my old, old, old friend. And we went in the Dollar Tree and walked around and I picked up a couple things. Um, And then yesterday, I had to go back to the Dollar Tree I was in and out literally in five minutes because I needed a couple more of these containers that I got. I'll show you in a minute. Um, so that was, a, that was literally a 15 minute trip. And today I had to go to CVS to get my prescription. I had therapy, I had uh, my psychiatrist yesterday and she called in a new prescription, which didn't make any sense because I have a prescription with two refills. So I'm not sure why she called that in. So now I have two bottles with two refills. So now the next time it's due to be filled, I'll have to go down there with the bottles and say, which one am I refilling? Because I don't know. Uh, So that's where I was today. And again, I was down and in and out and back, but it was like five days in a row. That's really strange for me. I started a, and I have my coffee. And I have my coffee in this glass. Isn't this, the, isn't this the cutest thing? Look at the bumblebees, the flowers, the sunflowers. I got this at the Dollar Tree. So when I went back yesterday, I got two more of them. So I have three. And I picked up uh, a new mug. Um, you, are, you are the bee's knees to put in my freezer for iced coffee. It's just nice spring, summery kind of look. And then I got this one, Be Happy. It's got a little bee. This is for a mini amount of coffee. This would be mini coffee. 
and I got this one with the lemons on it. I thought this would be great for juice. Um, so yes, yeah, so I got my coffee. So I went into the Dollar Tree to look for a jar with a lid, a tight sealing lid for Skye's cremation ashes. I, I didn't know what they were going to have. I didn't know if, there, if I was going to find anything. And then my next stop was going to be Walmart, and I would go from there. But ultimately, at the end, his ashes will go into a Buddha container. Um, I just haven't found the perfect one yet. I keep looking and looking, and each one I see, I just don't care for. Um, so I found a jar with a copper lid. Um, and I just love the design on it. It's just, a, it's just like a beveled glass design with a real tight fitting lid. So I have three of these. The other two are over on the table. And this is cremation ash. So there's three of these filled to the top. And then that will get transferred into the Buddha. Um, Um, a text came up, but I don't know what it said. Um, yeah, it will, everything will get transferred into a Buddha. But for right now, I had to get him his ashes out of that plastic bag. His ashes were in a plastic bag, in a plastic box, in that black plastic box. And that just bothered me. <laughs> it bothered me. Um, so I wanted something just better. And then, of course, I did send ashes um, to California. I sent ashes to Texas. I sent ashes to Tennessee. And I have ashes down at the lake, I'll, and I have ashes set aside to take over to the library trail. Um, I have ashes on the Buddha, on the offering plate. Um, I have ashes in my room in a little jade bowl, a little tiny jade bowl. And I have ashes in... Um, a necklace, a, uh, a necklace that holds ashes. Uh, I think they call it like a remembrance necklace. So there's ashes everywhere. And I guess some people might say or think, shouldn't all the ashes be in one place, put out in one place? Well, um, it depends on, I guess, what you want to do. My brother's ashes his wife took them along a trail that my brother used to walk all the time. And so she sprinkled them along and they, and so they get spread out. My dad's ashes went in the Chesapeake Bay and it was like, whew. so they were like, you know, and ultimately the ashes move around, you know, they're, they're, they, they, they never stay in one spot. They're not sitting in a, in a pile somewhere, you know, so, um, unless they're kept in an urn forever. Uh, and everybody has their own preference as to what they want. Sky wanted some of his ashes in a creek in Tennessee, and that I was told would be done by his brother and sister. Um, and I have every reason to believe that they'll do it. So that's why I went to the Dollar Tree, and I was glad that I went because I found what I needed you know, for, for right now, for temporary. So I have the three jars and um, I'm rolling into week 12. Tuesday will be week 12 and today is the, four, is the 17th. Today um, is our wedding anniversary. We got married on May, seven, May 17th in 2014. So we would have been married 10 years. Today would be 10 years. Um, tomorrow is my sister's birthday. Yesterday, was my daughter's birthday. The day before was my dad's birthday. There was just a lot this week. This week was just crazy with dates. Um, and so I'm trying to figure out how I'm doing. Um, I had a good session with my psychiatrist. Um, I mean, what are you supposed to say? You know, I don't know what to say anymore. Um, I'm going day by day. Uh, I stayed in bed this morning until noon because I could. And uh, 
And then I started thinking about a, um, what's the word? Where manifest, manifestation. So my board, I have a bigger board that I had in my bedroom. I brought it out here into the living room and I wrote some things to manifest. Um, I don't have a bulletin board and I really don't have the ability to, like I don't have magazines where I can cut out pictures and things like that. And that's usually what people do. And I don't want to use the ink in my printer to print out little pictures, you know. Um, so I just used my whiteboard and I wrote down some things to manifest. And the first one I wrote down was calm. For me to manifest calmness is like, try to remember, just stay as calm as you can, poet. Um, that was number one. The second thing I have down is zero balance on my credit cards. Um, I'm manifesting seeing zero, seeing zero, seeing zero. And the third one is 24, 2024, 2025 for my compass, for my Medicaid. I keep forgetting I have a nose ring on. Um, I'll find that out anytime between now and the end of the month. They usually don't tell me anything until like literally the last day of the month. Um, so I'm guessing I have a couple more weeks to find out whether or not um, my Medicaid is approved for another year. So I'm a little anxious about that. Um, and the last thing that my manifestation board has is a mate for down the road in the perfect timing. Um, I would like to have someone in my life, someone calm, someone soft spoken, someone gentle, someone who I could call my best friend and someone who can call me their best friend. So if that's for down the road, that's not any time now. Um, I figure God has me on my own to show me that I have more strength than I think I have. I got everything done. I've been getting everything done. I'm almost 12 weeks in of getting everything done. Everything that I've needed to get done, I've gotten done. I haven't dropped the ball yet. Um, so... There was that. I don't know if I said, and I might have said this, I was able to pay my electric bill. My electric bill is $22 because I literally have nothing plugged in here. Like I unplug everything. I think I just have the microwaves plugged in and of course the refrigerator. But um, I unplug phone chargers, I unplug, um, I do have my printer and my computer plugged in. However, I don't have my printer, I mean my computer charging right now. Uh, I read that it's, it's not good to keep your uh, computer charging all the time because of the battery. Um, and I have a bad habit of doing that, leaving it plugged in. So I just went over two days ago and I unplugged it. So I probably should plug it back in because I'm not sure where the charge is. Just come with me while I plug in my computer. So I don't leave stuff plugged in sit there for a second sit there for a second while I there we go and I keep my printer plugged in because uh, it's turned off and I don't think it draws any power do you think it draws any power the printer if it's not turned on I don't think so I don't know so I was able to pay the electric bill through the over-the-counter card um, they charged me a $4.75 fee because it was, the, um, they asked me if I wanted a one-time payment or did I want it set up as every month. And since I, since it's a Medicaid card, I don't know whether I'm going to be kept on Medicaid or not. So I did a one-time payment this time. And if I find I'm going to be kept on Medicaid, then I'll have it set up at least through the end of the year. Uh... Actually, I can leave it set up until whenever. Um, and then they don't charge the uh, service fee if, you ha if they automatically take the, the money. Yeah. So as I get each thing done, I feel like, wow, okay, you did that, poet. Good, good job. Um, 
I um, haven't really talked with anybody. Um, a couple of texts here and there with a few of you guys, but I, um, I pretty much have kept to myself. And I haven't seen my son all week. Um, we're now on Friday and today was his day off and he was in the hospital last night again. And so he's not feeling well today, well enough to come over. I don't think he'll ever be over, honestly. Mm. That's really good. I feel like I need more ice though. Um, how's everybody, how are you guys doing? Uh, I don't think I did a video since the one I put up and some, there were some questions and some comments and if I can remember them all, um, somebody commented from Alaska, thank you. I don't know if I said a thank you one here. Um, someone said about maybe all the water I'm drinking is like taking away my appetite. No, I don't think so. I've always been a skinny girl um, since I was a little kid. I was the skinny kid, the skinny teenager, the skinny, always skinny, like not thin, but skinny. And um, I've always drank a lot of water. Water has always been my go-to. Um, I don't really, I don't drink juice. Rarely do I drink juice and almost never do I drink soda. I remember being a little kid and my mom made Kool-Aid because Kool-Aid was, you know, the thing. What was it like three cents a pack or something? And then you just dump like a boatload of sugar in the pitcher and there's your drink. Like, um, but now it's water, um, hot green tea in the morning and my iced coffee in the afternoon. But the rest of the time it's water and I've always been like that. So water is not dampening my appetite. If anything with my appetite, I would say, um, one is I don't want to cook for myself. And two is I, I just hate eating alone, like a meal, you know? And um, so I mostly just graze little things. And that's okay, that's, that's working. I mean, I put a couple pounds on, which is better than me losing weight, you know? So I did put some weight on and you know, that's good. Um, someone asked about my kids. It's really nothing to say. They're all over 25. Um, families, jobs, you know, careers, kids. Uh, five of them live out of state, live across the country. And uh, that's about it. There's really nothing more to say about them. Um, they don't really have time for me. And so you got to let that go at some point so you don't just hang on to it, you know? So I had my crying time last night. I had my crying time yesterday, off and on. I, the, it's, it's funny how with grief, how it, it comes and goes um, in, a, in a weird, in a weird way, weird way. Um, that Kelly DeMarco that I talk about, she was talking on, on a video the other day about purpose. And she said when, before they knew her husband, Tim had cancer, he kept complaining about this pain and saying he had pain. And she thought, because I guess their marriage was on the rocks a little bit. And, and she was thinking that it was because of their marriage that he was having all this pain. He moved into another bedroom and isolated himself from her. And she's, she's, she questioned the relationship and should she stay or should she leave the relationship? And uh, then they found out she had, he had cancer and that's what was causing his pain. And um, then she was glad that she stayed because she feels like it was her purpose to be there with him through that journey. And I had a lot of the similar, similar things with Sky where, you know, we had some rough times, but we never separated ever. And looking at the whole thing now, and I believe that our lives are planned out from the moment of conception. That's just my belief. And, uh, and I believe that we were put together 
so that I could be his caregiver at his time of need. That's what I believe. Um, because us finding each other was like a needle in a haystack, you know. And so I believe that it was known he was going to need a caregiver down the road. And that's why I came into his life. Uh, this coming Tuesday at 10, I have a FaceTime call with our sensei from Georgia, from Atlanta, Georgia. Um, he does uh, Buddhist counseling. And um, there's a certain name for it when you meet with your sensei. And I just can't think of what it is right now, but I'm going to be talking to him for about an hour and to get more of a, a vibe on Sky's death and where is he now? Because a rebirth is it in Buddhism, you know. And I found out that if a body is not cremated for the first three days, like Sky sat. Sky's body laid for five days before he was cremated. If a body is cremated prior to three days, um, it changes things up. But after three days, it gives the it gives the soul time to leave the body and go into another being, another body for rebirth and onto a new life. And the new life depends on the karma that you brought from your past life. So I was thinking a lot about Sky and his life, um, that all that I knew of his life, and he had some bad karma moments, but he had a lot of good karma moments. So I think he had more good karma moments than he had bad karma moments. I think so. So I think that his new life that he's in now, his current life, I think it's going to be like a 50-50, you know? I don't think it's going to be this, you know, like an amazing, you know, easy, easy life, but I don't think it's going to be a hellacious life either. I think it's going to be more in the middle because he did have some bad karma and he did have some good karma. This is just my thinking, just my thinking. It's just how I am. So I'm going to go, we're at 22 minutes. I'm going to hope that I can put this over onto my channel. Um, for those of you who are left behind, um, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry because I know what you're going through. I'm at, uh, what am I at? 11 days and Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and 11 weeks and three days. And every day feels a little weirder because every day I'm a little more used to being alone. I'm not saying I like it. I'm saying I'm, I'm getting more used to it. Every evening getting ready for bed, it becomes more familiar that I'm just, it's just me here. Um, and I'm doing less thinking about his death and more thinking about his life um, with me. So, and I'm really new. I'm still, I'm still a kindergartner. You know, now maybe I'm first grade now. I don't know. I'm rolling into three months. Um, but uh, it's, it's hard. It's, it's just, it's hard. Because not only do you lose the person, you lose your future. You, you lose the plans, you lose the dreams, you lose the, the, the love. You can't place the love physically to that person. So you have all this love you want to give and you, there's no one to give it to. And um, there's this in incredible missing. There's this incredible void, this loss, this emptiness, emptiness. And it gets you, it sneaks up on you. And it, it just like, you're okay, you're okay, you're okay, and then wham, you, you get it, you know, you get hit. So that's where I'm at. That's where I'm at. So I'm going to go, and uh, thanks for being here, and um, let me know if you listen to the podcast. Do you like podcasts, or do you like the videos better?